Hey everybody, this is AJYT Abbott, and welcome back to another Walking Dead review. This is going to be my review for Season 9, Episode 3, called Warning Signs. We have a lot to talk about, including some saviors turning against the survivors, and even holding a knife against Carol's throat, Jadis' true motives and why she punched Gabriel in the face, the helicopter deciding whether it's an A or B, fights one of the darkest moments in the entire series. So, um... This was a really good episode. I really did like it. Um, the beginning was fun, you know, seeing Rick, um, Michonne, Judith having some fun, you know, because we do know Rick is going to die in uh, episode 5. So that will suck, but at least he gets some time in with Judith, so that's great. Um, um, Rick and Michonne are talking about building a new future in a different way. Um probably means um babies so that's gonna be even more heart-wrenching when he dies so thanks amc for including that um so yeah um this was a overall of really you know kind of it, it was dark in a lot of ways it was dark literally because it was like ha some of the episode took place in the dark um it was dark at the end very dark, very dark at the end. I'll get to that later. Um, so, yeah, this was pretty dark. Um, so the whole episode, they're pretty much trying to figure out who killed Justin and who's killing saviors. Um, and then halfway through, a rock goes missing, so they have to deal with that this episode. So, that is a very, you know, key point for this episode. Um, so Daryl and Maggie are looking for her, and he finds a bolt in a zombie. He realizes, hey, I'm Karat. And when they get there, they find Cindy, Rachel, Kathy, um, another Oceanside person, and Beatrice holding a rot hostage. And they are about to kill her, because it turns out a rot killed Cindy, or, or a brother, I mean, little brother, and Justin killed Beatrice's husband. The plan was they were going to kill what they did. And a bunch of us that helped kill um, their husbands and, you know, kids. Uh, and killing a rot. And they said a rot. And Ski and Daryl are very conflicted here. It's changed. But then he has a story about how a rot murdered her 11-year-old in front of her. And I know that is very depressing. And, um, you know, Rot's words that she says, no, she says no exceptions. Obviously, that's a cat callback to 701 when Negan said that right before he hit Glenn and killed him. So, that just turns Maggie and Daryl off. So, they're done with the Rot. So, they just turn around and walk away. And the Rot's killed. And, yeah, that's dark. That is incredibly dark. I honestly, I'm honestly debating whether or not if I would do Cause I honestly, I really I like this season, you know, for like the two episodes she or three episodes she was in, I liked her, um, and I gave her a little bit too. She was pretty cool, but yeah, um, best you know, luck to the actor who plays her. I forget what her name is, but I do follow her on Instagram. So yeah, um, at least Laura is still alive, and I do like Laura, that savior. Um, I hope she lives. So yeah. Um, so there's a crazy Walker fight scene that was great with, um, Maggie, Cindy, and Daryl. Um, Daryl shoots this one zombie that Cindy's having trouble with, and her hand, like, goes through the zombie's, like, chin and everything, and it, like, ugh, it, like, goes all over her hand and everything, opens her wound back up. So that could possibly, you know, have some effect, you know, since they referenced it, actually referenced that it opened her wound back up. Um, they could reference that later, you know, that, oh, maybe, maybe Cindy will die. I mean, I kind of hope not, because I really do like Cindy, but, you know. Um, also, the reason why they were killing the saviors is because Maggie hung Gregory. So Maggie is responsible for the deaths of Justin a rot and all of the other saviors which is heavy on her i don't even think she's worried about that now because at the end of the episode she says it's time to see negan they gave rick's boy a chance so they are completely against rick now so that's daryl 
Maggie. Also, Sydney, Rachel, Beatrice, Kathy, and the rest of the Oceanside people. They're all against Rick. Well, not really they, like they want to kill him, but they're like, they don't think his rules are the only rules, right? Um, so that they're all against him. Um, most of the saviors are. Alden's starting to switch up on him, you know. Um, who else? Let's see. Carol was picking sides and everything. You know, the only person that's really believing in him is like Michonne, Aaron, Enid, you know, other people. Um, and, you know, it's actually pretty crazy that she's going to see Negan next episode. So that's going to be incredibly fun to watch. Um, also, looks like Rick and Daryl are going to be fighting this week, so that'll be that'll be really bad. I, I'm I'm gonna they're gonna feel really bad when um when Rick dies. They really are. Um, also we saw Cal this episode. That was crazy because I thought Cal was gonna die in All Out War. I really thought he was. I thought he was gonna get his comic book death, but surprisingly he survived, and it looks a lot like Glenn now. It's actually pretty crazy that he does. So, yeah, that was my review for The Walking Dead Season 9, Episode 3, called Warning Signs. Um, we discussed the dark ending. We discussed um, a very, very, very awesome Walker um, fight scene with Maggie being an awesome person. We discussed Maggie going to see Negan next episode. Rick and Daryl possibly fighting next ep episode. Well, not possibly. They are, um, you know... People switching sides on Rick and everything, and the ocean side killing the saviors. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next review. Goodbye.